Hi everyone. How you guys doing? Doing good? Okay, great. So welcome to today. Uh, okay, first of all, I would like to thank all of you here for joining me on this webinar today under a very short notice. Okay. Yeah, we just decided to do this like webinar like just 12 hours ago. And here you are, you all turn up today. Thank you for that. Yeah, I appreciate your time. I'm aware that some of you here uh, doesn't uh, have the same time zone reverse here. So it'll be a daunting task, right? Isn't it? To wake up like very early in the morning or very or maybe very late at night. Or maybe some of you here actually listening to this while you're in the office. Okay. <laughs> all right. So it doesn't matter. This is a good choice. Let me reassure you. You know, learning this can actually give you a winning age in the long term, right? Your boss can wait. How about that? Okay. Or even better, ask your boss to join uh, on this webinar as well. Okay. All right. Great. So, and uh, today, today we're going to talk about, yeah, I prepared a lot of contents here today to share with you. Do you guys have time here? Like one, probably two hours. I don't know yet. Probably one and a half to two hours. Hopefully you have time to join me here today. Uh, to stay through out of it and of course right as all my webinars previously there'll be a bonus in the end and there'll be a QA and a session in the end as well so if you have any questions you can uh i'm going to dedicate uh, uh some time to answer your questions by the end of this session the reason we're doing the end of the session so i don't want some of you here uh, got distracted right so on certain things so you can pay attention fully to the information i'm about to share with you today are you guys ready okay so now uh how is 2022 uh works for you so far is it good how does life treating you so far good fair amazing or is not good all right if you are going through certain bad times in 2022 or some of you say so-so or very slow, or maybe you don't like how uh, 2022 turned out for you, I would say, you know, it's already past, right? You can put it aside and we could expect uh, to have a great year in 2023. Of course, depends on what you're going to do. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to actually add some perspective about 2023 as well on today's webinar. How about that? Right. I'm going to talk about uh, our partner chart, our love pillars, of course. And I'm going to actually uh, implement, or I would say insert some of the 2023 content on so we can see also from 2023 perspective uh, what to expect, what can we do about it. Is it a good deal here? Yeah, in exchange for your time, right? your valuable time to listening to me so you can learn something uh, uh, important. Right? So, and uh, what is your mood right now? Now that uh, currently, are you already in the Christmas and New Year mood already? <laughs> I saw someone who just now say, "I'm in Christmas mood already." Right? Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, you're ready for holiday, right? Yeah. So I think it's cool, right? Like celebrating, whether it's a good thing or bad thing uh, that happened to us. I would say uh, is is actually take is a time allow us to pause for out uh, for a while and reflect. Right, what what is actually happening for 2022 for us, and what can we do better? Right, more importantly, is also what lesson we learn. How can we make use of even seemingly bad situation, so for us to progress or to become a better person, so we can achieve more in 2023. Okay, so and um, so I would say that a lot of people will ask me like, uh, I was will 2023 will be a better year or not? Right. So I think most of us want to know this, right? So I always actually ask them uh, another question, right? Do you actually level up in 2022 or not? Are you leveling up? So maybe you can type in the chat box right now. No matter which aspect in your life, right? Whether it's uh, health or finance, is there any aspect in your life that already level up? Okay. I see Susan. Okay. Great. You did level up, right? Okay. Great. Nice. So. If you leveling up yourself in 2022, I would say that you have a better year in 2023, right? Because nothing is changed until you change. Agree, right? The, the everything you still need to pay taxes, 
right? You're still going to hate your boss <laughs> for most of you, right? So uh, things you, you almost remain the same. I always tell people you always remain the same until you change, right? Otherwise, every year you just listen to all the 12 animal signs and you're wondering why, you know, it seems like the same to me every single year. Yeah, it's just sort of like repeating the cycle uh, every single year. And you have no clue why nothing is changed yet, right? It's not because of the animal sign. Your life not changed because of the animal signs. It depends what you do now. It's about cause and effect, right? For 2023, it's about what you're going to do now. But the good thing here is, even you didn't see much leveling up in 2022, we still have like uh, two months, you know, uh, to work with. So which means... Right, so you can actually do something about it these two months to make 2023 a great year for you. How about that? And of course, I'll do my best here as a coach to actually give you some guide, some information, or what to avoid even. So hopefully, can give you a better confidence in navigating 2023 for you. Okay, so now for some of you here are very new, you might are wondering, right? Who is this person? <laughs> I'm listening to. Okay, let me just do a brief introduction about myself first. My name is Iverson Lee. I'm a consultant, speaker, and instructor from Joey Up Consulting Group. So uh, the subject I use uh, for my consulting is Chinese metaphysics. Probably I think most of you here really know about this. So it's like a Pata, Feng Shui, uh, Qi Men Dun Jia. I use this too all right, every day. And this is what drove me to do what I do every single day that actually I so I wake up with passion and to do something. Why? Because a lot of people actually ask me this question, right? What drove you, right? What actually driving you every single day? How do you motivate yourself? Actually, I don't motivate myself. Okay. Because I believe that motivation doesn't work. Right. So because if you need a motivation, probably you're in the wrong field. Agree or not? Right, like so one of my friend actually asked me, Iverson, I'm running my own business, but some some of the days I don't feel like working, right? So can you motivate me or not? I say no, <laughs> probably in the wrong business. If you like what you do, don't you think you're already motivated in the first place? Right. So for me, I I I don't actually motivate myself. I'm sorry to say that because if you keep actually browsing on Instagram, like you know, a uh, motivational quote or inspiration quote, I mean, this is like a drug, right? How how I mean, how effective is it? Probably the first hour you feel so inspired, but if you're looking back at the same quote over and over again, you get numb, right? It becomes cliche. So I would say that I don't believe in motivation, but I believe in intelligence. I and I always tell people, right? Uh, why I don't need motivation because I don't have this on and off button. <laughs> I'm always on. There's no off switch yeah, in my system. So I'm on 24-7. So and why I can do this? Because I have something that actually drives me, pushing me forward. It's because I obsess with one thing. What truly makes people succeed? Yeah, I'm curious about this. Uh, since I was uh, get to know Chinese metaphysics like eight years ago, uh, this is a question keep popping in my head. You know, I want to find out what truly, yeah, what is the reason, what is the catalyst for ch change that actually are uh, from someone that is struggling and and they can overturn their destiny and become someone very successful, right? I keep actually asking myself what makes people succeed. And that's why this is actually drive me to uh, learn parts and talk to people. And guess what? What do you think is the reason that makes some people extremely successful? Or at least get what they want. Or have a better outcome. What is the cost? Okay, maybe you can type in the chat box right now. Okay, Wong Amida say taking action. Okay, great. Okay. So... Okay, some of you say great intention, results, okay, determination, all right, great. Okay, so this is uh, the emotion that you need to instill, right, on, on earth. Some, uh, George Lee say is luck, okay, great. Jamie Yap say awareness. Okay, all right, great. So now, let me tell you my version of it, right? So first of all, of course, the reason people are successful is not because of their great butter chart. I used to think that way. All right? I used to think, oh, the reason someone is successful is because they have a better chart than me or they have, uh, they have this like uh, perfect chart. How many of you here used to think that way? 
Yeah, lucky for you, you have a better chart, you know. The reason I'm struggling, you see, I got this punishment, I got this clash. That's why I am landed myself in this situation right now. Okay. Yeah, I used to think that way. Yeah, but I later on I found out that's not true because I see some people they're given with a like so-called superior chart, but they're still struggling. Yet I still see some people that have this sort of like a mess up chart, but they can still actually uh move on and become and turn and use those uh these advantages to become even more successful than the rest of the people that have this so-called good chart to start with. Right, so this changed my thinking, and I discovered that the reason, right, the only one reason I discovered, I, I can tell this because I work with different clients. Some of them are extremely successful, and then some of them they are still struggling. So I always see a pattern of success, and that's a pattern of failure. And I keep asking those people who already make it there. I always ask them, what really, yeah, make you so successful? Do you want to know? Because I actually ask a lot of my client, although. They actually come to see me to get some advice from the partner chart. And most of the time, they don't have much question to ask, right? So after that, I say, since they still have time, I actually asking them back, you know, what truly make them so successful? And then they tell me one thing, right? Very similar, pointing to the same thing. Every person that I ask, successful person that I ask, actually points out to one direction. Maybe you need to write this down right now. Yeah, take, a, uh, take out a paper. This is very important. It's about one thing. Yeah, listen carefully. I only say it once is about your standard right your life will not change until you demand more of yourself than anyone else could ever expect from you right what is your standard if your standard is you know i cannot wake up any uh, time earlier than 5 a.m yeah then that is your standard right some people need to like sleep until 9 a.m right so for them they can tolerate that part so if you actually increase your standard. You say, I'm a super achiever. So I want to lead my life like an Olympian. I have discipline. That is my standard. I cannot negotiate anything lower than that. Yeah, I need to follow through with my goal. That is the standard you uphold. Therefore, your life will change because you have different goal in life already. Agree? Once your standard is different, you increase your standard. Don't you think the goal that you set is a bigger goal? And remember one thing. Great goal attracts great destiny. You might need to write this down. Yeah, it's not about the butter chart. So how far someone can go in life, can go further in life, depends on one thing. How big is their goal is, right? So, and how big your goal is determined by the standard you have in yourself, right? It's not something you tell uh, other people. It's something, it's a promise you make within yourself. Yeah, if your standard, think about this, right? If your standard, uh, you you think that you can only make like five thousand US dollar, right? That is your standard. Then that so it will actually manifest into reality, right? You make exactly five thousand US dollar, right? So if your standard say I cannot, right? This is so low, I cannot accept it. That's not who I am, right? My pay grade must be at least fifty thousand per month. That is a different standard. That's where your life starting to change, even with the same partner. Is it useful for you? Right? So the first step of using your partner chart yeah, is not about uh, actually looking at the partner chart first. The first step is, can you increase your standard or not? Okay? So let me ask you, if you just increase your standard by 10%, your expectation about yourself, can you see more possibility? Because you know you're better than what you deserve right now. Okay? All right. That is the first step. Is it useful for you? Right? And now I'm teaching you how to use parser in the correct way. It's not about the parser good or bad. It's about your standard. And the good thing here is this is the portion you can control 100%. So once you, once you actually live your life from a higher standard, then when you look at your parser chart, the parser chart can help you even better. Right, give you an optic. There, there are two things that Patricia can help you here. The first one here is it gives you an optic, right? So to see what you have in you. Would you like to know this? Right? Because uh, which means that uh the Patricia actually believe in you before you actually believe in yourself. Yeah, just like last time. <laughs> Okay, yeah, when I was a programmer, when I look at my partner chart, my partner chart say, Hey, I was saying, if you want to change your career, you can be a teacher, can be a speaker. 
right? So Patachat says that, but I don't believe in myself. I say, I, I can do this, right? I'm an introvert. I don't like to talk to people. And when I stand on stage, I have stage fright. So well, I mean, what makes you say or what makes you think that I can do this, right? So which means that I realize, hey, actually Patachat, uh, the, the information that actually believe in me before I actually believe in myself. And fortunately, during that time, I took action according to it. And then after a few years, I start to see possibility. Right? I start to actually embrace the new version of me. How many of you here want a better version of you, a happier version of you? A version of, when you're happier, don't you think you treat people better? <laughs> Especially when you meet someone that's very rude, right? The reason they are rude is not because of you. Right? It's because they hate themselves. And it manifested in the way they're treating others. Right? So I think the first thing here is about us. right? So that is what I do using Patsa. So And then the second thing, right? Uh, the benefit of actually, or what you can benefit from the Patsa is it gives you an optic to see probable future. So you know roughly, you know, in the next, uh, the course of five years, what are the likelihood event or opportunities might appear? Right? If you know it in advance, then one thing you can do, you can plan your life strategically. Make sense? Right? So there are two parts here. One part is about seeing what you have, so you can believe in yourself on that part. And the second part here is to see what are the probable events yeah, that you can actually uh, uh, do uh, uh, or what to expect in the near future. Okay, so once you have these two information combined, then you can do a lot of stuff, right? So, and how many of you here actually learned Pazzi before? Or at least some, you know something about Pazzi. You might not be expert on it yet, but you, you know some, some little piece of some information in the Pazzi chart. Okay, some of you say a little bit. All right, cool. So, and um, so when I start to actually uh, learning Pazzi that time, yeah, my goal here is to seek for like a great master, right? To learn from, right? So I ask with a lot of all this, uh, uh, I would say great master. And of course, I don't know who is the great master during that time. So there are a lot in the market, right? There are a lot out there and all of them here claim that they are the great master. Right? There will be a confusion for me yeah, to seeking out which is the true one. So what is then later on, I finally uh, actually understand or at least my version, what is the definition of a great master, right? Or great Patsa user. Yeah, I would say that for me, the definition of a great master or great Patsa master is not about the ability to predict outcome, right? But rather the ability to create desired outcome. That is my definition. Think about this, right? What's the point mm. of predicting something if you cannot change it? Agree? Right, so I think uh, the best way to use Patsa is to turn a negative prediction become inaccurate. Right? That is the goal of using Patsa. All right, so uh, let me repeat again. Uh, the goal of using Patsa is to turn a negative prediction become inaccurate. Anyone can predict a negative outcome. But how many of you here can actually prove your prediction inaccurate? It's actually bad. It's a good thing, right? Because if something bad really happened that you predicted earlier on, would you feel happy or not? No, right? If you feel happy, oh, it's just for your own ego. You know, you just tell everyone, you see how, how accurate I am. I just predicted something negative and it did happen. Yeah, it's no glory about it. I think more importantly is to know something and then you have the ability to change and overturn. Even though someone say, hey, you're not, you not accurate. You predicted a, a bad outcome, but now actually it's a good outcome. They didn't know you actually, are, uh, in, at the driver's seat, you actually control it. You actually guide them, right? But it's fine, right? Let them take the credit. Let them say that you're inaccurate. But deep inside you, you know, you already changed the outcome for someone. Don't you think yeah, that it will be a proper definition of what, a good master is. Mm. All right. So that is my definition yeah, because a lot of people are asking me on this. So one, once I discover this part, it's not about prediction. It's about creation. So I do a lot of research and then I think some of you actually um, uh, uh, know that I actually do a lot of research because I have different clients. I, I lock it down and then I put it in what I call the 
Iverson Secret Journal. Okay, let me show you this. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I document all a lot of cases, something I found interesting during my Butzer consultation and my findings and all of the that I put. The, I uh, actually recommend everyone who actually have the desire to learn Butzer to lock down every interesting information that they found out while doing it, right? So this is my own version. So I actually put a name to it to make it cooler. They say that it's a Iverson Lee secret journal. So in short form is ISJ. Okay. So whenever I mention ISJ, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, and inside there, of course, I compile a lot of life-changing techniques. Like how can someone over, uh, actually make change uh, in a very, uh, as fastest way as possible to turn around their fortune? Yeah, some people chart is like this. And also there are certain uh, special cases like how can someone without wealth element can become super wealthy? Would you like to know this? Right? A lot of people think I only I need the wealth element to become wealthy, right? So actually it's no. So these are special cases. So and and all a lot of people also uh, think that I must have a nobleman. I have a lot of successful people chart, they don't even have a single nobleman. Right, that you can become successful. So, what excuses that you have, yeah, about not able to reach your goal, right? So, all these cases here, and that's that's why every time I do a webinar, um, it's not hard for me to do it. You know why? Because some of the team actually asking me, "Hey, Alison, yeah, it's just like one hour uh, before the webinar. Do you actually get your content ready?" I <laughs> say, "Not yet." Okay, I know the title of the of the of the webinar or the course or the, uh, the thing here. But uh, why is not because I didn't prepare because I have everything prepared for me in my journal, right? I just pick what is relevant, then I share with you. Because some of you might think I, I need to figure out all these things. I figure out early because when I do the research, I have all this content, right? So today I just simply pick some of that is relevant of today topic. Because today's topic, we talk about luck pillar. So I'm going to actually take out, extract some of my contents from my ISJ and then I'm going to share with you today. So now, the one of the secrets, do you want to learn the secrets inside my journal or not? Do you want to learn it? Do you want to learn some of it? Of course, not everything. It might take you 10 years to learn it or even more. So, okay. So now let me tell you one secrets of uh, the journal. The journal here is about using the puzzle, right? So remember I talked about prediction, right? So the first thing here is about the lens that you are using. Okay. So the lens that you are using when you look at your own puzzle chart. Do you guys have your puzzle chart ready? Right. If you don't have, uh, you guys have a, uh, okay. So uh, some of you don't are uh, new here, right? So let me just uh, share with you. You need to get this chart ready first, right? In order for you to benefit uh, fully from today's webinar. So get this ready, handy. I think most of you already got this, right? So there's a, a QR code there and there's a URL. So you just, uh, either way, just plot your chart first. This is your uh, part of chart. So now, Back to what I discussed just now is about the lens that you're using, right? So lens is, which means that you're wearing a, 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 your reading glass, right? There's a different lens. Some of the uh, lens that you're wearing, if it's, um, it's a good lens, then you see things more clearer, right? If it's uh, not a good or dirty lens, then you see everything is like a mess, right? So now, some people use the lens of worry to read a chart. Some of them, they use the lens of depression. That's why they like to actually uh, pick up all this, what? Punishment, destruction, death and emptiness, clash. And after reading the whole chart, they become super depressed. How many of you here met someone like this? <laughs> okay. It's not their fault because the lens that they're wearing of, uh, that they're wearing during the parts of analysis. Okay. Yeah, but some people, I discovered that can use butter in a more efficient way is they are wearing the lens of beauty. So if I would like you to point out five things you like about your chart, were you able to do it? Yeah, I always like to do this experiment with my friends and my students. Okay. And, and a lot of them, they're actually able to list out more bad things about their chart. It's like even a whole page is not enough for them. But you ask them to list down what they like about their chart, they find hard to come out even three. 
Okay, so I'll say if you wear the lens of beauty or looking the chart, you look, uh, you, you can actually find a lot of good stuff in your chart, right? And then your energy level increase, then you can actually achieve more. How about if you wear the lens of possibility? You look at what possible rather than limitation. Yeah, the way you read the chart is different. Yeah, this explains why uh, people asking, how come different people give me different parts of reading? It's nothing wrong with the parts, right? It's the lens that different people use when they're reading your chart. Okay, so now, what is your default lens when it comes to parts of reading? Type in the chat box right now. I want to know. Is it the lens of fear? Is it a lens of worry? Or a lens of depression? Or how about the lens of beauty, lens of possibility? Or lens of winning? Okay. All right, great. So if you just shift this from today onwards, because you want to increase your standard, right? I'm not actually obey to all this low standard anymore. I just changed my lens from lens of fear into a lens of possibility or a lens of winning, yeah, would your life actually become better instantaneously? At least you feel good first, right? And you start to see what you can do, right? Rather than keep worrying about what could happen in your life. Do you find this useful? Right? This is the part that people don't want to talk about, right? They just want to concentrate on the chart. It's not about the chart. The chart is there. It's the same chart, right? How come people derive information differently is the lens that they're wearing. So today, I'm going to share with you one lens, the lens of winning. How about that? Is it a useful lens to have? Do you want to learn about the lens? So which means that virtually, uh, you're going to actually wear a lens, a new lens. This is the lens I call the lens of winning. And there's a certain way of reading the chart. Yeah, if you are from the perspective of the lens of meaning. So right now, I want all of you here to take out your parts of chart. Do you have your parts of chart ready right now? Okay, let me just uh, share one of the my iPad first. Okay, let me see. Can I share this or not? Okay, great. So now, take out your parts of chart. I'm going to share with you a... Uh, uh, this is one, okay, all right, there you go. This is a sample chart. All right, in order. Now, uh, some of you are just joining in. So now we are using the lens of what? Winning. Okay, we want to win, not whining, all right? Okay, so, uh, so is to win. So in order to do that, to subscribe to this perspective, one of the, you will divide your chart reading into two parts. Okay, so the first part is this one. The technical name is called the natal chart. All right, so it's a, this is the first part. And then there are, then the second part is this. This is what I call the lap pillars. Okay, so actually there's a name here as well. It's called the lap pillars. So there are two parts. One is the natal chart, and then the other part is the lap pillars. So why we need to break down into these two things? Because the natal chart, the natal chart, which is this part here, talking about capability. What is your competence level? What you're able to do or what you're willing to do, right? Is your capability. What is your personality, right? Are you, dri are you a driven person? So uh, these are your chart, your capability. How about the luck pillar? The luck pillar talking about opportunities. Okay, so this only two part. Why I call this is a winning lens. I think you heard about a saying uh, says that pepper, uh, success is about pe where preparation meets opportunities. Have you heard about this before? Success are equal to preparation meets opportunities. If you heard about this word or this quote before, yeah, type the word yes. Yeah, so what, what do I mean preparation? Preparation is your capability, right? Yeah, why you're being sent to school while you're young? Because your parents love you enough. They want you to God prepared. Yeah, so you're ready when you need to go to the workforce, isn't it? 
So education is about preparation. So therefore, they're going to focus on this part, your capability, what is your nature. That's why when our parents are asked us, uh, what kind of field or major that, that children can get into in the university, we look at the natal chart because it's about capability. Okay, so in the end, it's about to get yourself prepared. All right, great. So when you're prepared, when opportunities arrive, then would it be cool? All right, so that's why there's a saying like this. Yeah, but I want to add one more thing here. Although the code is is uh, I mean is correct, but not all the time. All right, let me let me give you one example here. Like uh, I think you know who is Richard Branson, right? I think uh, there is one our uh, famous quote that he always says. He say that if someone offer you an amazing opportunities, but you are not too sure whether you can do it or not, he he asks you actually take it first and learn how to do it later. How many of you here actually subscribe or agree with this? Type the word me. Which means that you are not prepared yet. Okay. Yeah, but if it's an amazing opportunities, you're not sure whether you're going to take, uh, able to do it or not. For example, maybe a CEO position or a position you like, you take it first and then you learn it along the way because you know that, you know, these opportunities might not actually uh, come again, right? It's very rare. Okay, great. Yeah, of course, when I ask you this, you will say yes, right? Yeah, but when I ask them to do puzzle, they say what? Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm not ready yet. I'm not prepared, right? <laughs> I think that's human nature. Yeah, but when we are in a philosophy mode, it seems like, you know, yeah, we, 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 we learn along the way. Yeah, but when it comes to a, a real application, then a lot of assistance coming in, right? Okay, for now, for discussion purposes, if so all of you here agree that sometimes we need to look at opportunities first, even though we are not ready. So which part of the chart we are looking at? Are we looking at the natal chart or are we looking at the luck pillar? Okay, all right, great. So we are looking at the luck pillar, right? So which means that now you ignore, you ignore the natal chart reading. You don't care. Yeah, can you, are you okay with this or not? Okay, this is the lens of reading, I'm telling you, right? So it's a method of reading the chart. Some people say, oh, cannot, I must understand my day master first. I need to look my nature chart, right? Uh, then you cannot wear the lens. The lens is not suitable for you, right? But if you're okay, you say, I, I might not need to prepare right now. I'm willing to learn along the way. Then your first point of focus, you need to look at the love pillar. Okay, now, so let me show you again uh, on the screen right now. What is the love pillar looks like? Okay, so this is an example here. So as I explained earlier on, this one would be the luck pillar. Okay, so of course the luck pillar actually talking about um that actually telling you uh, nothing is permanent in life. Everything is subjected to change and they'll go through a small cycle like every year and they also go through a big, huge cycle where the huge change take place. So in the luck pillar, they are talking about the change of every 10 years or a decade. Okay. So which means that every 10 years, you're, you're going to go through a new cycle in life. So this luck pillar actually telling you this. So now there are so many uh, pillars here. I want you to pay attention to the one that actually highlighted like this one, that is your current luck pillar. So it's your current cycle. Yeah, for this person, here it is. But right now, I want to check back on your, on your site, on your own chart, or whoever chart you're looking at right now. So uh, look at that. That is your current cycle. Yeah, so we make it easier for you. We highlighted that for you. Okay. So now, for uh, discussion sake, when this person will change to a new cycle, it's very easy. We just look at the number here. So according to this chart here, this person will change to a new cycle at the age of 76 plus minus. Are you guys clear? All right. Great. So now let's do another one here. For this one, for example, this person are at this cycle and each cycle consists of 10 years. 
So which means that when this person will go into the next cycle, how old this person is? Type in the chat box based on the current chart. Yes, yeah, 62 years old. Okay, great. So uh, this is the first. So which means that nothing is permanent. So and each lock pillar, each lock pillar right now, this person is here, right? So the next thing here is what can we derive from the lock pillar? each lock pillar or the uh, new cycle in life. So primarily there are four things yeah, that what the lock pillar can tell you. The only four things. Okay, the first thing here is something new. You might pick up something new in your life, like new boyfriend, okay, new job. Yeah, it's, it's something new, right? Or uh, uh, new opportunities that you never get it, you never got before. So something new. And uh, or maybe a new purpose in life is, is still considered. And also the second part here is uh, the lock pillar also talking about uh, you might lose something. I right? could be losing your job or losing someone you care about, right? Or maybe losing your motivation or your mojo or losing your confidence. Yeah, but not all bad, right? How about uh, you actually get rid of certain illness? A chronic illness, it could be. Right? So it's not, it's, you see, losing doesn't mean, how about losing your enemies? <laughs> your, your enemy is no longer in the game. Yeah, they're, so they're not doing bad the business. So it's also considered good, right? So yeah, this is uh, about that part. Okay, cool. And um, how about losing or you let go certain, uh, I would say, resentment? or guilt, right? Which means you, you start to forgive. It's good, right? So losing is not bad, right? It depends on what you're losing. So just now, either you gain something new or you lose something, the second one. So the third thing here is you might not lose something or gain something new, but you enhance on existing aspect in your life. Probably right now, you don't need a new relationship. You already have an existing relationship. So is it possible to get enhanced? Yes, right? So it's about enhance on existing thing that you already have. Maybe it's your job. It's not about losing a job. You might get promoted. That enhancement, right? So, and th that's the thing here. And then the fourth part here is about something become our lesser decrease of something existing. Maybe your net worth decrease. Right, so that one could be right something existing yet that you already have. Maybe you have a saving account, right? But certain love pillar, yeah, that you might see a potential of decrease of your net worth. Is it possible? Yeah, is is possible, right? Or maybe decrease on uh something that you hold on dearly, right? So therefore, yeah, it, it's not disappeared, but it decreased. Maybe you decrease on uh, confidence. Yeah, people lost uh the confidence on you. Right, the decrease already there. They don't believe you as much as they used to be. Is it possible? So let me repeat again. There are four things. Something new might come into your life, or something might get out of from your life. The third thing is something that in your life right now that might get enhanced, and the fourth thing is something in your life that might decrease in power. Okay. All right. Great. So these are the things that you can actually identify from the love pillar. So of course, the love pillar here, that is, uh, is a, I would say is a lifelong study. There are so many ways you can look at the love pillar. So I think the next question a lot of people want to know is then, what can, how do I know all this information? Then you need to look in the content inside that love pillar. All right, is the content inside the love pillar. Then that will tell you some information out. And today, I'm going to share some of the way of reading the element inside the lock pillar. Yeah, are you guys ready? Would you like to learn this or not? Okay. All right. So nice, nice, nice. Okay, great. So now there are so many ways to read the lock pillar. Let me tell you our, uh, the techniques that we use. Yeah, we use five elements techniques like the five, the fire, wood, metal, earth, and water. That's one way. We also can use relationship-based reading, like clashing, the lock pillar clash, 
there's a harm, there's a destruction, there's a punishment. There could be one of the way. Or I can use a 12 growth stages. This is a technical. I can use a nut yin. I can use ascending and descending chi. I can even use like a death and emptiness. I can use a 60 pillars way of reading the luck pillar. Okay. Why I'm telling you all this? So I want you to know there are so many ways of reading the luck pillar. Okay. I don't want, it's not meant to overwhelm you, but to tell you in totality, there are so many ways we can read the love pillar. Okay. So which means that if you don't like certain techniques, you can switch to other techniques. That's what the winning lens is all about. Don't let something uh, uh, that you don't have stopping you from doing something. Right. So basically a lot of people are telling you, I right, don't let something you can do to stopping you from doing something that you can do. Right. So that is the whole goal here. So now, now I want all of you here to look at your uh, current lock pillar. All right, your current lock pillar. Let me just, uh, I today I'm going to share with you a few methods about lock pillar. The first method I'm going to share with you is, uh, is this. Let me share with you the uh, screen first. Yeah, the first method here is about the journey. Okay, the journey you enter because a lock pillar is nothing more than a journey. Right, let me ask you, is it destination more important or journey is more important? Okay, the journey. All right, okay, cool. All right, because it's the process of life, right, is that we go through that make us become who we are, right? It's a process, it's a journey, it's about enjoying life, right? When you say enjoying life, it's not a destination. Yeah, it's about the journey. Happiness is a journey, agree? It's not like one event, like a grand uh, celebration or wedding or your dream holiday. No, there's just a one single event in your life, right? If you're, you only can be happy on those special events, then you're pretty miserable for the rest of your life, right? Because that those events doesn't happen that often, right? They want to get married every single year. <laughs> of course, you don't want, right? So now... Uh, once we know is a journey, so from the butter chart perspective, when we're reading the chart, would you like to know uh, the journey that you're going through in your current lock pillar, is it a smooth or bumpy ride or not? Would you like to know this at, at first? So you get prepared for this. Would you like to know about this? Okay, great. So in order to know about this, uh, take out your butter chart. I'm going to show you how to do this very right? quickly, very easy. Okay, so let me share with you the chart again. Okay, so the first step here is uh, now you want to know whether the current lock pillar that you're going through is, is a smooth ride or bumpy ride. Okay, so now um, you look at this person's current lock pillar first. Yeah? So we want to know more about this, right? The content is inside here. So to make it easier for you, especially some of your beginner, what you need to do is like this. You just scroll down. Just scroll down your chart to this uh, section where it says five structures. Okay, say the five structures. And I want you to look at the beige color diagram here, which is this. And the lowest element. So for this person, uh, which element is the lowest? Is it wood, water, metal, earth, or fire? Okay, fire, right? Easy. Okay, fire. So which means the weakest is fire. So whether the life is smooth or not is about the balancing of the element. All right, so now, if fire is the weakest, don't you think by having more fire will make your chart more balanced? Guys, make sense? Okay, so now you look, look at your chart. Now you need the most is fire, right? So you look at your current lock pillar right now. Does the lock pillar fit you fire or not? Does it provide fire? Does it pro provide fire or not? Look in this. Does the current lock pillar provide what this person need? Yes or no? Yes. Why? 
Do you see fire here? <laughs> so this is uh, this is the fire element. Can you see this or not? Right, fire. So if it have this, which means that there's a help, right? That that uh, is become smoother because it's sort of like the luck pillar from technical point of view is balance the chart. Okay. So when you find that helpful element or balance the chart, one thing, yeah, you have more clarity, right? You have more clarity about uh, what you want to do. You are more, uh, then you have, you very likely be in the right place at the right time. So you get more help. If you have the element, the element that you need in the chart. Okay. Yes, this is the balancing element. Yeah, I think uh, this I will discuss more in the ancient parts of secrets about the advanced five elements. But right now, I want to give you the concept first. All right. The concept here is about uh, balancing because when the chart is balanced, you are happy, you have clarity, and then you actually are uh, you willing to do more. Okay. So now, if in your current love pillar, you cannot find the element that you need. Yeah, then it will be more, uh, it will be a bumpy ride. Okay, so which means that you need to work harder. It's fine, right? It's not the end of the world. So it means that you need to work harder and you need to have backup plan on something, right? You might not get as much help that you need. So you need to rely a lot about your skill, your contribution first. So which means that you need to contribute before you start asking for something all right it doesn't mean this because i think this is a time about training about forging uh the iron the metal to become a powerful sword yeah is if you don't have the element very likely you go through all this training okay so now i want to check your chart right now do you have this uh the element that you need in your current love pillar Okay, all right, great. You will have here, then I will say that, you know, yeah, it's, it's more smoother. You'll find help easily, right? And then you very likely sometimes you will actually uh, be in the right place at the right time. And maybe you can find your life purpose and you get more clarity. Okay, all right. Now, let's look back at the uh, example just now. So, the power of luck pillar, you not only can look at your current one, you can actually uh, actually go to the future then see whether you have it or not. So for this person, if I want to look at the next pillar for this person, does this person actually have fire in the next luck pillar? Yes, right? So you see here? Mm, okay, can I say that this person live here how about the next one? Also got fire, you know? How about the next one? Also get fire. So can I say this person will get more lucky in older age now? Can I say that? Yes. Yeah, this is how people will tell you, right? This is lucky only. It doesn't mean if you don't have, means your doom is not. So which means it's more easier for them yeah, to get help. Okay, all right. So this is the first method we are talking about. Uh, uh, you can actually use your the journey, the journey in your life, so you can gain a big picture about your love pillar. Okay, all right, great. Do you like this piece of information? The first method of assessing love pillar. Okay, great, great, great. So now, shall we move on? Right. Shall we move on to the next one? I know some of you don't have the, the element that you need. Then now you're figuring out, okay, what should I do? Don't worry. That's the first method, right? Remember, we are wearing what? The lens of winning, right? Don't let something we don't like interfere or stopping us from doing something that we like. Okay. So because there's more method coming in, right? So now let me share with you the second method here. The second method here is talking about um, because the luck pillar that you're going through, we also can tell what is your mind. 
okay, the mind or your priority in certain point of your life. Okay, so that's why I call this a uh, priority shifting here. So once you have this um, uh, information, you can actually uh, activate the luck pillar by doing something that according to the flow. Yeah, so people are saying that how do you activate the love pillar? Is it using water or something? No, it's nothing to activate with water. That way it's feng shui, right? Activating your love pillar, actually talking about your action, your, your decision. If you do something that aligns to the love pillar, you see more opportunities. How about that? Uh, yes, I think some of you are not able to qualify for the first method just now. Maybe this uh, method number two just work out for you just fine. Okay, so that's why I call this priority shifting here. So now, uh, I want to look at your luck pillar right now. And um, do you see any DW or IW? Now? Okay, DW stand for direct wealth. And then the DW stand for indirect wealth. Do you see it? Okay, nice. So, and a lot of people will think the moment you have IW or DW, <laughs> is that you're going to get rich in this pillar. And let me tell you, yeah, that is fake news. Okay, it's not true. Yeah, is it possible someone will go bankrupt in a wealth luck pillar? Is it possible? Yes. Yeah, because you're going through wealth luck pillar doesn't mean you're going to be rich. Right? That's a misconception. So let me share with you what does it mean. Okay, first of all, let me just pull up a chart first again. Okay, all right, great. So if you look at the chart right now, let's do this exercise. Do this person actually have either DW or IW? Yes, right, going through here. There we go. So which means that you can say that, okay, you're going through wealth luck right now. Okay, the next question here is what does it mean? When you're going through a DW or IW, it means that um, your, you start to see the importance of money where you, you don't see it previously. Right? Some people, they suddenly realize the importance of investing. Where last time, no matter what, uh, their friends tell them that they just cannot sink in. They won't listen until a point they realize it's important. Okay, so now if you're going through a DW or IW in your luck pillar, what is your priority in life right now? You suddenly discover that money is important. You're willing to do more about it. Are you willing? Yeah, that's a drive it within you. So how do you activate it? Yeah, do accordingly. Yeah, learn investment. Yeah, reconsolidate your cash flow, make it stronger, improve your cash reserve. You know, plan it well, right? Creating side gigs. Okay, because that is something important is aligned to it. Okay, some of you say top or bottom, you know, so I would say that doesn't matter. If you have it, it's good. Okay, all right, great. So now, what if, okay, maybe I use this one easier. Just now we're talking about DW or IW, right? So another one I want to share with you here in Love Pillar is IR or DR. IR stands for indirect resource and DR stands for direct resource. And once you have this, this now DW and IW is about working to make money. And when you actually uh, see this uh, IR or DR, it actually telling you is about resting. Okay, is a totally contradicting with the wealth element. Uh, that's why resource and wealth is always clash. So if you have IR and DR in the love pillar, first of all, you be more lazy. Okay, it's not a bad thing though, because lazy person will find a more easy way to achieve something, right? A more efficient way or the least resistant way to create results. Agree or not? Right, because they're lazy, they find a more creative way to solve problems. So, therefore, if you're going through IR and DR, 
if you really have a lot of money, it's fine, right? You can actually leverage, you can create system. If you are someone right now still struggling financially, and if you see IR or DR, what you should do? Yeah, you need to overcome this. Agree or not? Right? You want to activate the love pillar? You also need to look at what you are having right now, right? So figure out, right, how to actually make more money, right, without using your own energy. How about leveraging? Right? How about other people's money? How about other people's idea, other people's experience? That's what the resource element is. Okay, great. So this is, uh, do you understand so far? Okay, good. So now, uh, let me share with you. How many of you here actually are watching World Cup right now? I mean, we are in a World Cup fever right now. World Cup? How many of you here are soccer fans? Okay, if you're soccer fans, I think you know who is CR7 is, right? Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, okay. He's one of the greatest uh, of all time. Okay, and I think right now, I, I think if you pay attention to the uh, recent happening, and you know that, you know, a lot of issues, right, with the MU, and then finally he exit from it, and then there are a lot of things. And then right now, he actually uh, aspired yeah, to help Portugal to win the World Cup, right? And, and he say that, he also mentioned one thing that, yeah, if anything uh, doesn't work out, he planned to actually retire at the age of 40 years old. How many of you here actually read that news? He actually said that, I think, a week ago. It's all over the news, right? If you're the soccer fan, you know this. Okay, but if it's not, it doesn't matter, right? My point here is like this. If you look at his, this is his chart, by the way, all right? So if you look at the luck pillar, when is his luck pillar change? Around, plus, minus, 40 years old. Okay, hold on, now. Let, me, let me get my pen. Okay, if you look at here, is 40 years old, right? So remember just now, priority will change. What they want in life will change. And he actually mentioned 40 years old, roughly that time he wanted to retire. Does it actually sing with the love pillar as well? Exactly, to the dot. All right. So at the current love pillar, you still see wealth element, right? Money is important or not? Still, right? That's why he, he's one of the highest, if not the highest uh, paid, footballer out there okay uh, but once he reach even you don't know him personally what is in his mind when he reached 40 years old you see i are here <laughs> all right so money might not be important you want to enjoy quality life right maybe you want to do investment want to leverage yeah so or retire yeah, retire doesn't mean he stop working. He just doesn't need to work at that hard anymore, right? You want to invest on something, you want to teach and all those things. Okay. All right. So do you see any wealth element in his next luck pillar? No. Does it mean he cannot make money? No, it doesn't mean he cannot make money. It just means his priority in life. Because anyone that have a lot of money, when they see resource, they will know how to invest it. All right. They'll know how to invest it. Okay, cool. Do you like to learn puzzle this way? Now you can actually see this. Okay, someone mentioned about DE. What I told you just now, we are wearing what lens right now? Winning lens. Okay, do we care about the DE or whatsoever in the chart? I don't care. All right, so it's about achievement here. And DE doesn't mean bad anyway, right? But I chose to ignore it for discussion right now. Okay, so someone say, how do I know that when the lock pillar change, look at the age for this person, but around the age of 40 years old, his priority will shift. Okay, all right, great. Do you learn something new today? 
Yeah, Camilla say he will enjoy spending money. Yes, resource element is enjoyment, right? So he start to appreciate the the quality of life, and very likely he's going to teach. Yeah, because just now that one is a is a Kuyo pillar. Yeah, that pillar is a teacher pillar. Right, so maybe as an advisor or something, I suspect you do something like that. Okay, all right. So that is a serious stuff. How about we go through some of a less serious stuff? Like how about we look from the luck pillar from the perspective of next year? Remember I told you I want to actually inject some of our next year element into it? What would you like to learn? Okay, great. So now, let me show you first. This is the butter chart for next year. And, and you also know that if you follow some of my previous webinar, I did say that next year there will be uh, a very hard uh, to, to look for a job, right? Because there's a huge competition. And then yeah, that a lot of people will struggling financially. Okay, this is the chart here. Okay, so of course, right, by knowing Pazza, you if you're able to transform yourself. How many of you here want to learn Pazza from transformation perspective? Right, because the only way to get to move further is to become better, right? Okay, if you if you would like to learn from that, mm -hmm. stay on. In the end, I want to share with you some of the things you can do about it. Okay, yeah, by the end of this session today. Okay, so for now, I will talk about something trivial first. The third method here is we're using 2023 as the reference point to look at the love pillar. So we look at physical growth. So physical, this is <laughs> physical. Okay. So this is not mentally uh, growth, not financially. So it's physical. What do I mean physical growth? Yeah, getting fat. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I did share this in uh, on my actually uh, webinar. Sorry, my Instagram. <laughs> what I'm talking about, my Instagram channel. How many of you here actually read that post today? I posted like uh, around noon time. Okay, so you did watch it. Okay, all right. I I that's actually a typo. I actually corrected it. Now you get the the correct version there, right? If you just in case you get. You uh, get to read the post earlier on. You might need to re read again because I noticed there's a typo there. But this version here is correct. So a lot. Uh, the reason I actually posted this because a lot of people are actually asking me. You know, he say like, um, I was said, how do I know whether, uh, what is the chances or likelihood I'm going to gain weight in 2023? Okay, so people ask this type of question. So since they ask, I had to respond right. So I actually. Tell them, right? There are two. There are two animal signs, yeah, that likely will gain weight in two thousand twenty-three. Okay, so is the boar animal sign, or you call pig animal sign? And another one is rat. These are the two. And why? Why is like this? Because in Butler's study, there are one uh, system called the auxiliary stars or sun sharp Butler. So therefore, if you look at the ball, there's a heavily shaft here, right? So this is the auxiliary star technique. Yeah, this one will stay with the ball for one year. And later, next, in 2024, you're going to move to some uh, other animal. Yeah, it's like just like visitor star. Okay, so for 2023, the visitor that visit the rat is Fortune Virtue. And these two stars, is the star that like to eat a lot, like to enjoy life. And as long as the food, they eat. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. So yeah, as long as it's considered a food or look like a food. Okay. So this, there you go. And now, now. <laughs> so in your, this this palace here can appear on so many different places, right? Some of you say, okay, uh, how many of you already see the effect right now? <laughs> you start to see the energy coming. Type the word me first. Okay. Uh, coming, right? Coming soon. Okay, cool. So now this element, either one, right? Either is a, a ball or the rat or the rat, either one. You need to have both, right? If you have both, congratulations. Okay, that one is 100% confirmed. 
<laughs> okay, you just need either one to, to actually meet the criteria, all right? You need both. This is the thing that you don't want both together. Okay, now, um, this can appear on different area, correct or not? Right. So right now, since we're talking about the lock pillar, let's focus on the lock pillar. So now check at your current lock pillar. Are you going through a, a ball lock pillar or also a red either one? Type the word me. If your current lock pillar is either a red animal sign or the ball animal sign, type the word me. Okay. All right. Great. So that's the interpretation of it. Okay. I'm going to share with you right now. Because the lock pillar, lock pillar governs your surrounding. All right, govern your surrounding, uh, something you see, something that you interact with. It could be your inner circle as well. So think about this, right? How they become fat is like this. It's because this year, you are not the first one gaining weight first. It's your friend who gain weight. And once they gain weight, by comparison, you feel you are slimmer. And therefore, you eat more. So your self-awareness level, you go to zero, right? Because by comparison, all of your friend is uh, fatter than you. So by comparison, when you take a group photo, you look, you look very slim. But actually, you're not. You're just slim by comparison, all right? Okay. So because of that, <laughs> you then, then you eat more because you feel that you still have a, you a quarter. Now you can eat. You still have a cushion. You get what I mean? Yeah, this one only if you actually appears in the, uh, yes, you're right, self-delusion. That's why I always keep telling people, a lot of people asking me, hey, Alison, right, how do I actually look slim instantaneously? I say very easy, right? Find, surround yourself with friends fatter than you. <laughs> then instantaneously, you look slimmer, isn't it? So if you're in the lock pillar, yeah, there you go. So how many of you here, you're not having in your lock pillar, but is in your natal chart, like the year, the month, or the day or the hour? Okay. So, okay, I actually posted on my Instagram. I won't repeat here because it will take me another like 30 minutes to explain, explain that. Can you later on, not now, after today's session, you go to my Instagram and look for that. It's my latest post anyway. I detail what it does it mean if it's false in the year, month, day, and hour. How about that? Right? So I, I would not like to repeat myself here. Otherwise, it's going to waste another 30 minutes. Are you guys okay? All right. Great. So, and okay, some of you ask where to look for this. Okay, there you go. All right, you, you actually scan the QR code first. Or uh, the username is iverson.ly. You go to Instagram, you search iverson.ly, or you can scan the QR code. This will lead you to the, my Instagram account. And then it's, it's the latest post. I just posted like uh, six hours ago. <laughs> okay, yeah, then you know what it means in the year the month, the day, or the hour. Okay. All right. Is this useful or not? Okay. This is not destiny. This is just telling you there's a tendency yeah, that you might gain weight. And you need to know the reason, right? So the reason is different between the year, month, day, hour, or the, or the one. Okay. So Cecilia asked what... Okay. He, he, you, I actually... Explain if it's located in the hour. How many of you here, your fatty element actually resides in the hour? Hour. And according to my explanation, if it's false in your uh, hour palace, my explanation is you become food itself. <laughs> How many of you here understand that? You become the food. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you take a look later on, right? Because some of you ask, right, what, what do I mean by becoming food? Yeah, it's not about getting eaten, right? So if you like to eat burger, for example, then you look like a burger, exactly like a burger. <laughs> okay, can you imagine that? <laughs> All right. Okay, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's a cash into it. Right, okay. <laughs> Okay, sometimes I like to post something that requires some thinking. You become the food. Okay, so depends what you like to eat, right? So you won't surprise if someone say, hey, you know, your friend might pull you aside and say, do you know, like recently you look like a burger? 
a cheeseburger, to be precise. And now you know you have a problem. <laughs> okay, depends on your eating. So you guys uh, understand? Okay, I won't delve into deeper into that topic because I already posted it. So I, I leave it to you later on. But don't do it now, right? Do it after today's event because we have much more to cover here. Okay. All right. Nice. So some of you say, if you like pizza, Lenny say, if you like pizza, then means what? Maybe it depends, right? If you eat more, you become a thick crust pizza or Chicago pizza. Have you ate Chicago pizza, pizza before? It's really that thick. Depends. If you eat a lot, you look like Chicago pizza, uh, pizza. All right. So now, now uh, the next one. The next one is uh, the fourth method, right? This fourth method is uh, do you like the God and Killings or the auxiliary star method? Like just now, we look at the star that's a heavenly chef, and then that is uh, uh, the different uh, to describe fortune with you. Do you like to learn something like this? Yeah, this, this part of it is uh, from the uh, ancient Pazhe. Ancient Pazhe use a lot of these techniques. We call it Sun Shot method. So I'm going to actually share with you another Sun Shot method here. It's uh, the fourth method of reading your luck pillar. It's what I call the uh, meaningful coincidence. Okay, so do you like meaningful coincidence? Yeah, let me explain first what does it mean, uh, meaningful coincidence. Let's say right now, you you are not happy with your job, right? Your you feel that your boss almost want to fire you, and you cannot do without a job because you need to support your family, and your your boss hate people uh coming late to work, and one day you accidentally actually oversleep, and then discover you are you are late to work, and then you're getting worried because um you're gonna lose your job, right? And then true enough. Yeah, you. Uh, the moment you get out from your house, already thirty minutes late, and your boss just call you. No need to go to work anymore. All right, is it a bad thing? Yes, it is. Right. So you have nowhere to go, and then you just sit in a coffee shop, a cafe, and then from there you heard a random conversation uh, from a stranger next to your table, and then they're talking about looking for hiring a position that you are looking for. Yeah, you shouldn't be there in the first place, right? Because you are late. And then you have no choice. You, you sit in a cafe and then, then you actually talk to this person and then you get a new job, a better paid job, a better company. Right? Is it a meaningful coincidence? Right? You didn't orchestrate it. You didn't plan for it, but it just happened. How many of you here would like this? Okay. Yeah, we all like this, right? Yeah, it's a good story to tell. Nice. How so? Would you like to know is there is such thing uh, called meaningful coincidence in two thousand twenty three, right? Because why is uh, a place? Because look, pillar talking about your surrounding, where you go to, who who came across your path is about the luck pillar, right? So and the the in two thousand twenty three, I want you you to understand two animal signs first. All right, so these are the two animal signs. If you check at your luck pillar, your luck pillar, do you have a tiger at your current luck pillar? Tiger? Do you have a tiger at your current luck pillar? How many of you here have a tiger in the current luck pillar? Okay, some of you have, some of you don't, it's fine. Yeah, I just want to know here. Okay, all right, great. So tiger in a 2023, if you have it, it's called golden car carriage, which means if you are single and you want to get married rich, you have opportunities. If your goal is your life purpose is to marry rich. So if your luck pillar got a tiger in 2023 specifically, you have the chance. Okay. So of course, whether you want it first or not, right? If you want it, means that you have a chance because in Sun Shark Pata, golden carriage is like a card, right? Carrying a lot of gold. So in the old days, it represent lux luxury, all right? Represents something rich. So I would say that uh, the tiger is must be in the luck pillar first. Okay. So now, 
the thing here is like this you want to learn something simple or you want to learn something more precise i wouldn't say hard i want to say precise you want to learn something precise as well right because if you learn okay you let me know first you want to learn something simple or precise okay great so yes tiger if you i think anyone that learn puzzle before when they look at tiger they're going to tell you hey golden carriage means meet rich husband or rich wife or even meet uh rich clients yeah it's possible yeah but think about this right if you are not attractive do you able to meet this person or not even you're able to meet this person it could be just a high buy thingy right they might not stay long enough to build the relationship agree right so therefore Yes, you see golden carriage, but this is not enough yet. That's why I call precision here. You still need a red. Okay, so why? Because red in 2023 is what I call the red matchmaker. So they have attraction power. This is a peach blossom star. Okay, so which means that if your luck pillar, you're going through a uh, tiger, in your natal chart, do you have any red or not? Then only you can uh, consider uh, meaningful coincidence. Okay, so let me explain. Uh, uh, let me draw it out for, for you now to make it easier. This is for 2023 only. Okay? <laughs> because now we look at 2023 from the perspective of your luck pillar okay now so now when let's say right now your luck pillar that you're going through is tiger so what kind of sun shot you have right now remember just now what is the name of the sun shot golden what golden carriage yes not golden chest all right golden carriage okay now does it fulfill the criteria no all right so you need to look at in your chart there are four locations that assign for animal signs do you have red in any of those or not so it could be in the hour sorry it, it could be in the hour pillar it could be in the day either one month or year so for example this person has a rat here okay so now is it fulfill the criteria yes all right so now tell me how about if this person don't have it here but have it here is it still fulfill that criteria yes it is okay anywhere yeah regardlessly whether it's in our day month or year doesn't matter yeah this is how, what i call precision using parts right i don't want to just read the sunshine like oh tiger mean meet rich people no no you need to have a rat first then yeah your superpower come okay now check if you have it uh, now is a chance if you have it don't show your partner all right don't get them worried so of course this is not just about romantic relationship so this one is also a time where you can meet a wealthy client right or if you're doing luxury business if you have this is it cool okay some of you ask how about vice versa right if you want to shift this uh location so let me show you again so now someone asking is maybe they are <laughs> here is tiger that's red is it possible the answer is no okay why because the the person you're going to meet always must be external all right the rich the golden carriage is not with the rat is with the tiger don't you think the person you're going to meet should be here so there is no reversal for this i need to be straight with here tiger must be here red because it's represent attraction must be from you right so it has to be from the self does it make sense now 
Okay, does it make sense? So there are no <laughs> compromise on this. If you understand now, type the word yes. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, this is the this is what I call the Sun Sharp button, right? You're gonna learn um uh more as well uh later on. Okay, so let me just <coughs> uh bring out my chart first. Okay, do you guys enjoy uh the session so far? Do you want more? Okay, all right, <laughs> great. So let me show you another method here, uh, another uh, lock pillar method. Okay, this method is called the new beginning. All right. So in our life, there are two beginnings. One is the moment we are born. And then there will be another shift happening yeah, that we, we, we call another new beginning in your life. All right. Another restart. So, and uh, if you learned puzzle before, uh, this luck pillar will locate in the sixth luck pillar. All right, the sixth luck pillar. So, I want all of you here to count from right to left. So, let me show you the chart again. So, count from uh, right to left, right? So one, okay, let me clear the top front first. Okay, so now one, two, three, four, five, six. This is another new beginning. Okay, so now look at your own chart. Check what is the. Okay, cool. All right, so some of you already exited, it's fine. So this pillar represents a big change in someone's life. Yeah, very big. So very big means what? Uh, like, okay, let me just show you a real example here. So let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is a six for this person. So which means that the moment someone reached this age here, why is a big change? Because this element will clash with this element. All of you here will be have the same clashing. Uh, there will be a clash. The animal sign might be different, but you look at your own chart, it will be a clash, isn't it? Right? It's, it's guaranteed, it's a clash. So this clash here means that, uh, because every time you see a clash means that things will never be the same again. So because the month pillar represents your job, your business, so there'll be a big shift. So these are the time people will see retirement or they sell off their business. Or if they are not doing well, they might not longer need it in a company, you know, so all these things. Or maybe they don't even want to work anymore. All right. So these are the big change in their life. So if you're not prepared, this will be rather painful. Like if you're someone not financially well, you're not prepared for this. This clash could mean, you know, yeah, you need to readjust your lifestyle. You might not enjoy the lifestyle you used to be because you need money and you don't have money right now, then there will be a problem, right? So I always tell people to actually uh, uh, get prepared for all of this here. So like you see that for this person is going through this, right? A clash. So now uh, this chart here is a chart from our, uh, it used to be a uh, Amazon uh, CEO, Jeff Bezos. Okay, so now, and if you look at his uh, timing here, these are the time that's the clash, right? So what can you see from here? The six, is it a big change, guys? Is it a big change? Six pillar, yes, right? So what did he do when he reached around 52 years old, he resigned from as a CEO from the Amazon company. Is it a big company? Yes, the company that he founded, he resigned. Okay, and then now, make use of what we learned so far. What is this? <laughs> what is he thinking? What is this? Still remember or not? 
dr what what uh, i actually share with you yes relax and the bottom also what dr so dr means also relax learning something right but you might say hey they still got dw here right do we still work do you still have his own project yes right but primarily right now he don't take an active role in a company right in a like hybrid okay yes that's the one okay all right cool yeah you see so this is how there are so many ways we can look at the chart right you can actually see all this thing here so some some of them they look uh, uh there are so many ways i would say uh, is the different method of looking at it some people look at the uh, this the fourth the third and the fourth pillar because this represent your prime time because there where you have a lot of energy therefore it's important there's one way of reading it and also some people will look at you see there's a light palace here you see a light palace light pa palace represent your psychology all right so and the light palace if the here or your happiness or your mental state so for this person the light palace is a dog so what dog clash with tell me dog clash with dragon right so if you are going through a period of time where there's a dragon clash right so that time there might not be very uh they might be restless right they're worried yeah but this one is it a problem or not for this person no 82 years old right he really what done what he should uh, doing really enjoy life already right doesn't care okay you see this so now you learn one more thing the life palace represent your psychology your mental uh well-being yeah so that kind of thing so for him is good right that time i mean what else can you do right you should enjoy your life before that right so you live a great life yeah, so the life palace also are part of this uh uh Pazza ancient uh, model where they actually use this to evaluate the chart so a lot of interesting thing that you can look from the chart here so now just now some of you express interest in actually uh uh learning Pazza and you don't know which way to go first how many of you here actually you want to know you know it's important but there's so many information you don't know which direction to pursue Pazza or what method you should learn Pazza how many of you here have some interest in learning Pazza and you know that it will transform your life but you do you don't want to learn for the sake of learning right you really want to see results your results oriented person you need your heart you want you you want return of investment right if you invest in a program you make sure that you want to get some benefit from it either tangible or intangible right you want practical parts okay so now um may i share with you uh what is the secrets of mastering technical parts do you want to learn this okay so let me share with you this uh part here okay the secret of mastering uh practical parts is uh the first thing here is you need to know that 95 percent of the people that learn parts for the sake of learning they're memorizing they know a lot of stuff and then they become fearful and in the end they don't know what to do because too much information we call this information in digestion <laughs> how many of you here actually is, uh been in this place before you learn too much it's overcrowded you don't know where to go all right okay so but yeah the way i want people to pursue parts is the only five percent you do this is transformation right because some of you uh, actually express right how do we actually use a practical parts for transformation and even a beginner can use how about that like even beginner and so far do you like uh, the information i shared with you so far do you like the way i see parts and using parts now yeah that is practical parts okay so that is the transformational part so let me break it down for you there are only three parts you need to master the first part is about awareness right awareness means that you need to aware what is your strength what is your gift so you can become a better version of yourself agree or not right like last time i i checked on my part chart 
to see what other things I can do in my career. What is my profession? So it's about what awareness. Is it possible that I didn't do even I know everything about my partner? Yes, it's possible, right? Some people, they know what they're good at doing, but they don't do it, right? So this, then therefore, self-mastery is very important, right? Which means that you do what you say you're going to do. So the second part, once you know about yourself in Pasa, so you also must know anticipation. Today, we talk a lot about anticipation, isn't it? We talk about the luck pillar. Not only you can look at our current luck pillar, we can look at the future luck pillar. Agree or not? So don't you think by knowing what is in store for us in the near future, we can plan our life better? Right. So therefore, anticipation is one of the parts. And once you master this, you need to go to the third step here. It's about ascension. So you need to transcend your parts. You need to break through your parts. You know, I, if I notice a lot of successful people, they're able to actually escape or break through the prison of the limitation that they describe in the parts. Okay? All right. So which these three things is equally important. You cannot complete the... Third step, if you cannot master the awareness and the anticipation part. Do you guys agree? Right? You're not there yet. So therefore, I put it in a sequence. One, two, and three. Yeah, those people that I've seen that very successful, they're already on the third step. But we always starting on the first step first, awareness. Do you guys agree? Does it make sense? Okay? Because once you're able to go through the third step ascension, you can actually master, you can affect the different aspect of your life. Okay, so your family, health, social, spiritual, love, and all these things, right? So now, how, how many of you here know how to be healthy? How many of you here, you know exactly what you should do to become more healthier than you are right now? Who doesn't, right? You, even you don't know, you can easily ask anyone, right? But do you do it a lot? Consistently. Right? That's another problem, right? So a lot of time is not about knowing what to do. It's about doing what you know. Agree? So therefore, the first transformation must happen is the self first. Right? That's why I say if the self improve, the rest can be improved. All right? Okay. So how many of you here interested to master yourself? Self-victory. So you become more disciplined. You can be procrastination. Okay, great. So one way to do this is, of course, I do a lot of private coaching. You can talk to me. So I'm going to see you one-to-one, -one, work with you one-to-one. -one. And um, this would be the um, investment here. And uh, it's 2000 US dollar. And uh, the slot here will be quite limited because I don't do much consulting right now because it takes up a lot of my time. So, and if the price here is too steep for you, I will recommend you to actually pursue the second option here is I created this revolutionary parts of program. Yeah, I created this based on my uh, Iverson secret journal, my experience, my research, and about the ancient parts. And I actually come up with a step-by-step -step guided parts program for self-transformation, breakthrough, and happiness. How many of you here would like to learn this? Yeah, so you are not scattered around, don't know where to go, right? That's a guided method for you. You have to learn Pazza. I think this is the one that everyone looking for. Okay, so therefore, I actually include this in, uh, part of the important information inside and I created this program called the Ancient Pazza Secrets. Okay, so now, how many of you here already joined this program, already enrolled for this? This will be on... Uh, next week, 10 to 11 December, we're going to do this via online. All right. So you can watch this, can learn this, write a comfort from your doorstep. Okay. All right. Nice. Wow. So many of you already joining. I will see you on next week. All right. Via live stream. All right. The comfort at your own home. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. So if some of you here are, are thinking to join me, you haven't joined yet, you want to enroll for this because I'm going to teach this once. And it's a very unique program because we're going to actually talking about self-reinvention. So now let me walk you through first. Uh, what are the steps for self-reinvention? The first step here we're going to talk about is uh, take control of your life. It's about taking self-responsibility 
by actually mastering two forces that shape your destiny. So there you go. The first one, we're going to talk about inner self-mastery. So we're going to use a lot of yin element in the chart, in your partner chart, because yin element represents your thoughts, something you cannot be seen, right? So therefore, this would be the one here, okay? And after you're able to do this, then I'm going to present to you, there are seven paths you can take in your destiny. It's not only one. Why there are seven paths? Because there are seven pillars in your partner. Yeah, now you know. So would you like to know what are the options for you or not? When you have more options, you have a choice, right? You get your freedom. Yeah, so this a lot of people keep thinking butter chart only lead me to one direction, right? Must be the only one correct way. No, it's not. That's why you see that even though people have the same charts, they have different destiny because they might take different paths. Yeah, would you like to know, are you in a correct path right now? If you're not, yeah, would you know, want to know how to change it? So this is the seven alternate destiny that actually uh, this information you can derive from your chart easily. Yeah. Is it interesting? Would you like to learn this or not? Right? This, I haven't teached this before. So this will be the first time and probably the last time because I rarely repeat my program. I always develop a new program. <laughs> yeah, that's my nature. Okay, so now. The second part here, I also like to focus on life transformation and life transformation will not happen if your life force is not aligned, right? If your life force is low, even you know what to do, you won't do it. You won't attract opportunities. So I actually developed a life force model. We're going to focus on uh, one. This is the life palace we're talking about just now about awaken your seeds of greatness. And we also talk about how to restore the inner balance of your five elements. I touched a little bit about just now about the luck pillar five elements. So now we're talking about the advanced five elements. And how, how many of you here want to know how to rediscover your passion, your life purpose and happiness using Batsa? Uh, would this be worthwhile or not of attending this by this alone? Okay, so this is the yin aspect. Okay, and then on the, on the yang aspect, I'm going to talk about recession-proof Batsa. Is your Batsa chart recession-proof? Or if it's not, then how you can imitate it, right? I think that one more interesting, right? And also, how about health and energy activation using Patsa? So I think a Patsa program is not complete if we didn't include yeah, the health assessment to it. Yeah. So this is about triggering the... Uh, the all of us here have different trigger points. Yeah, some of you get more energy through food. Some of you more fall from exercise. So this is the one for it. Okay, all right. So now, and the next one here is about uh, luck creation secrets. So it's to restore your winning age. How do you use your luck pillar to restore your winning age, your mojo again? Yeah, would you like this? And much more, right? And you will learn from the best. Why? Because I, the best I'm referring to is the ancient master, the one that creating the formulas. So you got to learn all this like light palace and conception palace, the auxiliary star. Yeah, the five most powerful auxiliary stars that you've seen some of them just now. Uh, also about shifting palace, which means that sometimes you don't have the wealth element, right? How do you bring forth the missing wealth element into your chart? That is the shifting palace technique. And also the advanced five element analysis. So this is what I think that all partner students must know this. Okay, so I'm very excited for this. So how many of you here like to actually learn this? Next two weeks, right? And much more. Okay, and the good thing here is you can benefit from this even you are beginner. All right, even you're beginner, afraid not, you know, uh, I'm going to teach you how to apply this. Okay, all right, cool. So, and some of you, if you cannot make it to the date, then of course you can watch a seven days replay for this. And let me show you, right? If you want to take this forward, this would be the investment for it. But for today, for today, you would get a bonus, right? What? Let me tell you what is a bonus. Do you guys want bonus here? So now, this bonus will give you an access to the VIP. So VIP access is the uh, area where I actually share uh, information that uh, is an indoor, closed door information that I wouldn't share on public. Right. So sometimes I will talk about different topic, different uh, angle or different uh, interesting case. So this is the one that 
I actually share with this group of people. So by joining Ancient Party Secrets, you entitle an access to this VIP access. And let me tell what is going to be able to uh, get from here. You, the first VIP access you're going to get is this. How do you win in the year of Water Rabbit in 2023? Would you like to learn this? Okay, so there we're going to go through a 2023 Butter Chart In-Depth Analysis about five powerful winning moves in 2023 and profitable career and or business in 2023 and also things to award in 2023. This is the VIP access to this extra bonus. Do you like this or not? Okay. Yeah. So now, and the next one, yeah, the missing link, just now we talk about like wealth, career, self-mastery, right? The one thing we don't talk about is relationship. How about there's another bonus for you talking about soulmate analysis using Pazzi. Okay. So, and you're going to get about discover your soulmate blueprint, boost your attraction energy without peach blossom. Or how about a new relationship timing or even rebuild and strengthen your existing relationship. How about this? Okay. You're going to get this for free. Uh, it's because it's part of the VIP access. Okay, now give me a show of hand. How many of you here like the program I sh just shared with you just now? Type the word me. Okay, so this is what would I call the uh, revolutionary puzzle program, right? First of all, this would be the ancient puzzle secrets. And then you would get th this bonus, the winning in 2023, and also the soulmate analysis. So in total, the cost here is 1591 And for today, you're going to get everything above just for 497 Okay? And if you want to enroll now to get all everything of this, there you go. That's the link, joeyup.com slash abs. Okay? So the team will post the link in the chat box as well. You just click on it, and then you bring up to the enrollment page. Okay, and then once you enroll, uh, I will see you uh, in the next uh, two weeks' time, 10 and 11 December 2022. All right, great. So, and I want you to know one thing. You don't need a great past to have a great future, right? You might go through some uh, issues before, but it doesn't mean your future needs to stand that way. Okay, all right. Now, one more thing. Uh, this one is limited and we're going to open this again for this session here for the first 30 enrollment. Right? For the first 30 enrollment, you're going to get Achievement Prosperity Manifesto for 2023. So this manifesto is I personally curated. is about Achievement Manifestation. So there's a script. You just need to read it out and the direction. And I'm going to give this to you in a PDF format, right? So it will deliver electronically or digitally to you via email and somewhere around uh, December, okay? So therefore, even though your partner chart doesn't look too good in 2023, at least you can use Shimon manifestation to help you to bring in or usher in more abundance into your life. Okay, but the thing here is this one is only for the first 30. Okay, if you're interested, yeah, there you go to grab uh, this um, extra bonus as well. Okay, so this one would be the achievement uh, manifesto for 2023. All right, okay, so now uh, there you go in summary, parts of ancient secret and then your do bonus part plus the achievement manifesto. Great. So some of you ask, how do I know, do I get the bonus? Uh, when you're able to enroll yourself, then you're going to get the bonus because there's a counter, auto counter we check for you. Okay. All right. So now your journey to making your best life starts here. And if you think about this, right, uh, the best investment on earth is self-investment. And when you become better, then everything else will become better. You'll follow through. So now if you actually break down the investment into a year, so it only costs you like $1.40 per day. I mean, what can you do with $1.40? But if you 
invest in yourself and the technique that you're going to learn not only can apply for yourself but you can apply for someone you care about right your families your friends so i would say uh, this would be your investment or your gift for yourself on christmas okay all right so there you go this is the link again uh you will get grab everything for uh today for this price and the uh, enrollment will closing very soon because the uh this program will, will start so we need to close up the enrollment very soon to prepare for this program okay all right great so i see susan say just enroll we, i really looking forward to this all right thank you right thank you susan yeah, for your support then i'm going to do my very best right to deliver the best content as possible and as you if you actually are uh, some of you that enroll my program before right do you like the contents that i share <laughs> and most of the time we go over time right so yeah I, I i can't wait to share all this information uh with all of you here okay great nice so and um now uh, as promised i'm going to actually uh, allocate at the time now to do some q a if you have any question to ask me related what i covered today yeah let's limit this to what i covered right today about the love pillar all those things you can ask me now i'll do my best to answer your question all right you just type in to, in the chat box i'm i'm going to actually uh looking at it right now while i'm talking to you actually looking at the chat box Okay, so Eric, you asked, I have a balance of 40% water, earth element, where else the SSC is 80%. So it's better element. What element I should look for? Look for the lowest element, Eric. If it's, let's say three of them is the lowest, this three would be the one you're looking for. Okay, all right. Okay, Gigi Lee say, how, how do we know we will get accident? Okay, butter chart doesn't tell you when to get accident. But butter chart can tell you when you become careless. And because you become careless, you get an accident. Okay, why I'm telling you this, which means that it's preventable. Okay, because you're asking as if like you're already destined. No, it's not. All right. Yeah, so yes, there are certain years you're more careless. And then therefore, you the chances of getting a, a more accident prone. Okay, uh, Hui Shen asks, my day and hour is ox, while my luck pillar is a red. Can you share with me what's the effect? Ox is not covered just now, so there's no effect for now. Hui <laughs> Shen Liang, yeah, let's take with what we covered first. Okay, so this one is uh, Anna asks, if the light palace is rooster, does it mean 2023 be challenging? So uh, because 2023 is a rabbit, so it did clash with a rooster. Uh, but this clash here is annual clash. So it means that you can expect some uh, maybe stress, you know, or disappointment. Yeah, so better make sure uh, that you set your expectation right. Yeah, then you're able to overcome this. And of course, when you learn more detail, you can look at combination to resolve it. But for now, if you want to know what likely thing you, you have more stress for 2023, because some of your expectation not met okay all right great wow so many questions <laughs> let me see did i miss any of this or not okay nicholas asked what if the life palace and the current lock pillar is the same if the same mean is a spiritual pillar so which means that nicholas you might found your life purpose during this period you, you know uh, what you want. You don't bother too much by how other people think about you. You're more focused in your inner self. You get stronger. Okay, it's like a spiritual awakening for you, Nicholas. Okay, I know I, I saw a lot of questions here, but I only answer those questions that related with what I, I shared today, all right? So to be fair with everyone. Okay, any Tong say if the light palace dog clash with the dragon in the luck pillar, so what does it need to take note of? For now, it's not to take note, it's to aware first. 
right? Aware that, you know, uh, your mental well-being is the most important, right? Try to define, yeah, what is your definition of happiness, right? Maybe it's too high for you, right? So which means that uh, the reason sometimes when we are not happy because we try to control everything, right? So therefore, try to learn yeah, how to let go. That won't be a great one because that one is rather spiritual. Okay, cool. What if a uh, luck pillar is snake good or bad? Okay, luck pillar, all the animal sign doesn't have good or bad until you look at the whole chart. Okay, whether it's clash, you form a punishment, by the snake alone is neutral. Yeah, just like a gun, right? Is a gun good or bad? Yeah, it depends what you use for, right? Because if the gun, a police use the gun, the law enforcer use it to hunt down a dangerous criminal, then to prevent that criminal to uh, kill more people, then the gun is uh, being put on good use. All right, so therefore, just looking at the snake doesn't mean anything. Okay, friends, go ask red in the month and tiger in the hour can get rich. Okay, so now you're not in the luck pillar, right? So I say maybe 50%. <laughs> you can get almost, almost rich client. <laughs> you cannot. Better than nothing, right? Okay. Nice. Okay, let's see. Some of some of that not related. I'm gonna skip it. Okay, hope you understand this. Okay, this question from Jen Hao. The light palace clash with the year animal sign. Uh, for example, is a rooster and next in rabbit means that the clash with this area. If it's in the year, you represent your friend. Okay, maybe you unfriend a lot of people in 2023. Okay, great. Okay, all right, great. Yeah, the rest of the not related, I chose not to because it further confuse you. So try to ask something related to what we have discussed. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. The team just told me that uh, half of the manifestation uh, bonus already taken up. So there are a few left. If you want to get this, you want to get it now. All right. So, and uh, hopefully you can join me on this uh, program here. So I have more time to share with you. Right, because in a in a in a webinar like this, we have a uh, limited time. But when in a program, we have a proper guidance, step by step, and that's where you you have a full training, uh, immersion training of partner. Right, because some of you you are you you like this, you don't know where to start. There are so many subjects like partner, achievement, feng shui, which one to start. I always recommend people to start with partner because partner talking about self. Yeah, until you become better, nothing else will become better. All right. So I hope you enjoy uh, today's session. Do you like today's session? Do you learn a lot? So hopefully you are. Okay, nice talking to all of you here today. And I'm looking forward to uh, see you in this uh, ancient part of secrets. And till then, I wish you all the best in whatever you do. Stay healthy. I'm Iverson Lee. I see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.